Agent, stay frosty. Hunters incoming. What's up everyone? Today I want to show you another one of my builds. This one is a PvE build and it's headshot based. And the first piece is the Eagle Bearer. You can only get this from Dark Hours. The attribute will always be 10% headshot damage. And the talent is accuracy increases as you continuously fire up to 30%. Headshot kills grant the tenacity buff for 15 seconds and the strength of tenacity is increased by 1% for body shots and 5% for headshots. 40 to 80% of damage taken is delayed until the buff expires. All of the total delayed damage is reduced for each enemy killed while the buff is active up to 100% with 3 kills. It comes with a 10% crit chance scope, 10% weapon handling grip, 15% crit damage barrel and a 30 round magazine. I'm also using the white death as my second gun. The attribute is 10% damage targets out cover and I'm using lucky shot. Magazine capacity is increased by 20%. Shots from cover have a 100% chance to return to the magazine. The talent's up to you though, you can use Optimist or Ranger. And I'm using a 45% headshot damage scope, 5% crit chance laser pointer, and a 5% weapon damage magazine. The first gear piece is the punch drunk, weapon damage, crit chance, and a headshot damage mod. The punch drunk comes with 20% headshot damage as an attribute, so that's why I'm using it. I'm also using the Sacrifice, this is a Providence piece, the one piece Providence gives me 15% headshot damage and the attributes are weapon damage, crit chance, headshot damage and headshot damage mod. If you don't want to use glass cannon, you can use an unbreakable Providence chest piece, but I decided to go with glass cannon. So perfect glass cannon is all damage you deal is amplified by 30%, but all damage you take is also amplified by 60%, so you will be taking a lot of damage. So if you're not good at staying alive, use unbreakable. I'm using one Araldi, which gives me 10% marksman rifle damage, weapon damage, headshot damage, and crit chance. Fox's Prayers, weapon damage, headshot damage, and of course it comes with 8% damage to targets out cover. Contractors, weapon damage, headshot damage, and it will come with 8% damage to armor. And a Fenris piece, because one piece of Fenris gives me 10% assault rifle damage. Attributes are weapon damage, headshot damage, crit chance, and a headshot damage mod. The talent is Concussion. Headshots increase total weapon damage by 10% for 1.5 seconds, 5 seconds with marksman rifles, and headshot kills increase total weapon damage by 15% for 10 seconds. If you want to, you can use Vigilance here or Companion, but I've gone for Concussion because if I'm fighting multiple NPCs and you know if I get hit once, Vigilance will be deactivated for 4 seconds and Concussion will always be up as long as I'm hitting headshots. Got the stats on the Eagle Barrow, 43.9 chance. 60 crit damage and 195.6 headshot damage and this starts with the white death 38.9 chance 40 crit damage and 327.6 headshot damage i'm using a reviver hive in case i go down and my teammate goes down you know we can get up and a decoy to take aggro away from me you can use any skill you'd like so you know a defender drone would be nice or a scanner pulse but you know it's completely up to you Specialization I chose is Sharpshooter. You gain 15% increased headshot damage with rifles and marksman rifles, and you also gain 15% weapon stability. Medkits repair 100% of your armor and remove status effects and increases resistance to bleed, poison, and burn for 20 seconds. The teammates also gain 10% headshot damage to enemies closest to you. You also get a flashbang, so if you blind an enemy, they'll you know be an easy target for hit headshots. That's the build, let's get into some gameplay. Serious. 